I meditated every single day, three years straight. Now, you might be asking, you know, what did you experience when you meditated a thousand days straight? Because you see videos on YouTube where people said, you know, they meditated for 30 days, they meditated for 60 days, they meditated for 90 days, or even a year. I meditated for a thousand days, three years straight, and I didn't do it to make this video. I did it for myself because that's who I was and that's what I was doing. But before I get into what I experienced, let me first say this disclaimer to anybody that wants to meditate. Now, if you are a person that wants to meditate, you, I recommend you going into meditation with an intention, with an objective on achieving a certain outcome. So, because meditation is, is pretty limitless as far as what you could get out of it. Pretty limitless. I would say damn near limitless on what you could experience and what could you get out of meditation. So, I would say have a clear defined intention on what you want to get out of meditation. Because you will get it. Or you will get something very similar and you will be very satisfied and happy. Now, when I went into meditation, when I was doing this, med when I was meditating every single day, I did not have a specific intention on what I wanted, okay? The only thing that I was really wanting to get out of meditation was the simple relaxation, the simple um, health benefits that came with meditation. Now, if I were to have a specific defined intention on what I wanted because there was things that I wanted but me not having that specific intention I didn't get that but if I were to have I would have gotten that so I would say that's very important now what I have experienced I would say is still beneficial and it was still worth it you know the daily relaxation that I experienced was great enough in and of itself the great <sighs> relaxation that i experienced every single day meditating was worth it in and of itself but there were several things several other things that i've experienced um if i really sat down and pondered i would probably remember and think of more things that i've got out of meditation but in the process of meditating right or I mean, you know, meditating for that long period of time, I noticed, you know, when I meditated like for 30 minutes or an hour, you know, in a few days in a row, I would notice that I would be aware of a thought that would come in my mind before I think it, which doesn't really make sense, I don't think, but that's what happened. Like. I would be able to catch a thought before I think it, which is actually very powerful, right? Because if you think about it, right, thoughts, beliefs, create your reality. And a lot of us, we unintentionally, right, unknowingly create these negative beliefs without even being aware. And then now they're in our subconscious mind. We're not aware of it. And then we experience the negative circumstances of it in our future lives. And we don't know what's going on and why we're experiencing this and etc. But if you meditate on a regular basis, you're going to develop the ability to be able to catch thoughts. <laughs> like it's, it's, it feels very normal to like when it happens, you know, because we all have thoughts, right? So you're just more aware of your thoughts and you're more aware of your thoughts before it becomes a thought. And you know you're about to think something and you you could catch yourself so you know obviously we all experienced in the past where we have a you know where we basically um something happens in our life we define it a certain way and it creates a negative belief but when you meditate every single day it allows you to become more aware of your thoughts so you don't turn that into a negative subconscious belief that affects your life you know um but yeah the the great relaxation you know that i experienced um almost like 
you know when you're reading a book and you get lost into the book you feel like you're in another world that's what meditation feels like in a different way like you go into meditation and you feel like you're you don't feel like you're in this world you you know you you feel like you're in a peaceful peaceful place um, which is very beneficial for stress anxiety the whole nine yards another thing that I experienced is that that's actually I still experience to this day which is actually more profound I mean it could also been included with other practices and just how I think something else that I really experienced that really impacted my life you know meditating for a thousand days straight is things tend to not bother me or overwhelm me as much as you know it would have previously done to me before I was meditating or to a, another regular person right another regular person if you get two different people right and you gave them the same circumstance like their car breaks down now they got to figure out how to get to work right one person will be extremely stressed and extremely overwhelmed the other person that meditated for a thousand days or just meditates on a regular basis it won't really bother it won't stress him out or overwhelm him as much as the other person you know so that's what i experienced i experienced um you know just not overreacting just very just calm very just you know things tend to not bother me you know i don't get it ta it would ta it takes a lot more to get me mad and angry you know i that just it doesn't happen you know thousand days meditated that's what i've experienced being able to catch a thought before it kind of creates a belief creates a meaning besides the deep relaxation on a daily basis it's also uh, really good for self-reflection you become more intuitive with yourself you become more empathic yeah that's also what i experienced i experienced more intuition within myself and more empathy so i will be able to more easily feel where other people are coming from i would be able to feel like my body more there was this one meditation that i did and i only did it for maybe three days but it's called the six healing sounds and it's like a ancient chinese meditation where you you know there's a sound that you make like hmm ah like different sounds that you make for each organ and you just focus on each organ in your body with like a color or something like that so i did that for like three days straight you know i think the meditation only takes like 10 15 minutes or something i did that for like three days four days or whatever, something and then i kind of just dropped it never really thought about it and then after even up to this point to this day i have noticed different things how different things will affect my body as far as food as far as emotions like i would notice how something will affect my body like for an example if i eat a big burger right if i eat a big burger heavy burger I would notice strain in my heart and I would notice my heart is like working harder to pump blood and I would feel it I'm like damn and here's another very interesting thing so in the past I used to smoke a lot of weed right and I remember watching this video where this guy was saying um, he follows uh, traditional medicine a lot and how he was explaining how you know smoking weed affects your spleen energy a lot and I never really thought nothing much of it. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, you know, just still watching the video, whatever, what he has to say. And then I would say maybe like six months after watching that video or four months after watching that video, totally forgot about what he said. Did the six healing sounds meditation for literally only three to four days. Then after, you know, I'm going about my day, right? Uh, this could have been like, maybe like a week after, or I don't even think a week after, maybe shortly after. I remember I smoked some weed and when I took a big inhale blew out a lot of smoke just normal smoking weed right um I felt a lot of like constraint a lot of weirdness in my in in like right above or below my rib cage and I'm like why why is that that the hit of that weed 
make me feel weird right here. Like, this feel weird. And then I thought, I was like, oh, this is where my spleen is at. And I was like, oh, that one dude said it affects your spleen. So, like, that is one thing that I experienced. And I also feel like I probably would have been that much intuitive with the six healing sounds if I wasn't already meditating, you know, a lot every single day. So, it, what the things that I've experienced from meditating for a thousand days straight that comes to my mind right now, there may be a part two of this video, I don't know if I remember, you know, other things, but the main things that I remember from meditating so much is being able to catch a thought or, you know, my ability to catch myself of, you know, putting, defining a situation or creating a, a negative belief. The other is becoming more intuitive with my own body, my own self, my own emotions, and becoming very more empathic as far as feeling and, and knowing where other people are coming from, which, you know, is very good for, you know, human interactions and harmonious interactions with people. And then also things, the, sh the, the amount of like, I would say, I don't know about training, but the benefit on my stress and my stress response because when traumatic things happen in my life, they they don't, right? <laughs> I don't know why I said it, but when, you know, a, a situation will come into my life that will appear to other people as very stressful or very overwhelming, my stress response to it is not dramatic like another regular person's is. It's very calm, it's very, you know, more responsive than reactive. And I mean, obviously, you know, as a normal person, right, I will feel a little overwhelmed or I will feel a little stressed or I will feel a little angry or whatever, but it's not anything that I emit crazy. And I, you know, none of that is just, you know, I could handle it a lot better. So those are the main things that I've experienced meditating for a thousand days straight. And those are permanent. I would say those, I would say those are like permanent experiences, permanent long benefits that I've had over the past because when I was meditating, I started about 10 years ago. I started about actually like maybe 11, 12 years ago. And to be honest with you, it was probably more than a thousand days because it was, I would probably say three years for sure. And then the next two years after that was like sparingly, you know, maybe a, 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 a few times out of the week, like three times out of the week for the two years after that. But it was still a little bit regular and consistent. And I kind of just fell off, but that is my experience with a thousand days of meditation and then my advice to you if you want to start meditating every single day for the health benefits do it for the health benefits absolutely but also have an intention on what you want to manifest on what you want to get out of meditating because meditation could actually bring that into your life it's i would say something like a panacea it could really attract and, and create and manifest and bring into your life whatever you set your intention to when you meditate. But thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one.